And here we are at the Metro East Metro Showcase at Johnson Senior High School here on Arcade Street in St. Paul. We're here for the first game of uh, another tournament featuring Minnesota teams and some out-of-state teams. This first game, we've got the St. Thomas Ca Academy of Cadets, the local team here. They're three and nine coming into the season or into this tournament today. And they're gonna be taking on a tough opponent, the Wisconsin Dells Chiefs, out of obviously Wisconsin Dells in, in Wisconsin. They are currently 15 and 0. And they have in their division, they're in division three. They are the they have the number one ranking in division three over in Wisconsin. They play in the South Central League there in Wisconsin. And so also later today, the team from Lodi is the number two ranked team. They're going to be here today uh, in a later game, so you can stay tuned for that matchup as well. But we should have some good matchups going on here. Now, I'm your announcer, Scott Scott, here for this first game. Got this first game again between St. Thomas and Wisconsin Dells, so we'll see how they get going. The teams are being introduced here now as we've had the national anthem played. Just getting things started. We've got St. Thomas Academy there, and they're going to be in the dark royal blue outfits. And... The uniforms for the Wisconsin Dells, they're kind of in a white and light blue. So both these teams getting ready to go here out on the floor, going through their various different pregame rituals, starting practices, that type of thing. Always kind of interesting to see how think, how teams do things with their shootouts and their and their pregame practices, how they talk amongst one another, trying to get hyped and psyched up and all that type of thing. Not too much happening on the Wisconsin Dells side. Uh, St. Th Thomas is in their huddle, just did their break. They're going to get ready to go out there. We've got the music playing. Very popular pregame. You hear this all the time and hear this in Target Center for the Wolves game. So getting ready for the opening tip here in just a moment. Okay, there's the whistle. Ref's getting ready to go. Tip is up. And the Dells, the Chiefs from the Dells have won it, and they're starting out on offense. They're going from right to left. They'll be shooting here in this first half. St. Thomas will be shooting left to right. The Chiefs just working the ball around, trying to get something set up here, showing like they're going to be patient to set up their offense. Drive underneath is blocked. Rebound. If Cullen Buss for the Chiefs, gets his own rebound off the missed shot on the drive and scores for the first bucket of the game. Now Academy bringing it up. Court almost traveled, got rid of it just in time. They're passing it around, they're trying to set something up here. Zone defense being played by the, the Chiefs. Pass inside, but then they move it out. Back over on the left wing now. Back across top of the court. The Cadets just trying to look to set something up here, showing some patience on offense as well. Just kind of working the ball back and forth, side to side, into the corners. Looking to get somebody open for shot. There's the shot. It's up, and it's a good. That's a three-pointer for Ben Fears. So we've got a 3-2 score here in the early going. The Dells comes right back and answer back quickly. It was number 22, Shaman, or excuse me, Shane Wyman with the score to put them back in the lead. Better bring it back over. Again, setting up their offense now here. Early, early first half. We do play two halves, 18-minute halves that we're playing here in this tournament role. So, look for the setup. Good patience by uh, St. Paul. Just passing the ball around. Keep it looking, trying to work something open. There's a shot from the wing. It's off. Rebounded for the Chiefs. And they're bringing it back up. They bring it up quickly. But now getting set into their offensive flow. Breaking the ball a little bump. No call. Just dribbling. Setting something up here. All those Chiefs. Now we've got a shot by number 22. It's off. That was Shane Wyman with the missed shot. Opportunity. St. Thomas bringing it back up now. Working the ball back around from the right wing to the left wing. Not a lot of movement inside either by the offense or defense, so there's nothing opening up to, for them to try to drive and get into. Passes in, is picked off by the Chiefs. Nicely anticipated by number 23, MJ Delmore. So he gets a bucket. Puts Chiefs up now 6-3 to three is our score. St. Thomas bringing the ball up. Had a possible fast 
transition opportunity but didn't take advantage of it. So now they're just trying to pass things around and set something up here again. Ball's down the right corner, now up to the top. Cross court to the left wing. Doesn't take the shot. Back up front. Still working it around. Just being patient. There's a pass inside. A lot of coverage there. No shot opportunity for St. Thomas off of that one. Ball went inside to number 41. Harrison Platt, but he couldn't get anything off. He was well guarded. So St. Thomas again just working the ball around. Trying to again set something up. Pass is tipped. Away defensively, it'll be St. Thomas ball out of bounds along the right side. And it was uh, Delmore playing some good defense there for the Chiefs from Wisconsin Dells. He picked off that pass a little earlier and uh, tried to get another one. He tipped it out of bounds. So St. Thomas is inbounding. Being worked around again, as they have been doing thus far. Trying to work the ball inside, work to flat. It's knocked away, and the Dells are bringing it back up court now. Truman trying to set something up. Pass down to the left corner, drive. But kick back out up top, nothing there. Tries to drive, ball thrown up. Not a great shot attempt on that drive, but a drive nonetheless. Missed and rebounded by the St. Thomas. So they bring it back, and they're on the offensive court now. Inside to their big gun, Patterson. Shot from the from the free throw line, but doesn't make it. Fast break opportunity for the Dells. Nice transition movement, passed up court. And we've got a timeout here on the court. Though. It was number 22 for the Dells. Shane Wyman with the, with the bucket. He's got four points now in the game. Nicely set up by Colin Buss. So we've got a score now of 8-3 to three that the Wisconsin Dells Chiefs are on top of St. Paul Academy Cadets here in the early going. First time out of the game being taken. We've got a few more fans walking in here to Johnson Arena here in St. Paul. So there's some of the other teams showing up as well as just fans coming. This is the first game of the day. Five total games, so there'll be games going on all day here at uh, Johnson High School. There's the buzzer. I know you heard very well. I sure did. As the timeout is over, so we're coming back out. St. Thomas will be inbounding the ball from their own baseline. The Dells showing like they've got a they've got a press on. St. Thomas gets it right across. Well guarded though at the and knocked balls knocked away by the Dells. Drive by Delmore, but missed on the layup attempt. Nice defense though. There was a severe bump there that was not called. Pass inside by St. Thomas is picked off by Delmore. And he brings it back up court, number 23 for the Chiefs. Inbounds the ball. The Platt shot up is up, missed, but there is a foul on the shot. So Wyman will be shooting too. It's our first free throws of the game coming up here. Again, the Dells are up. The Chiefs are up over the, the Cadets. 8-3 to three here at this point. There's 12.51 to go here in the first half. And Shane Wyman, number 22, shooting the free throws. This is the first attempt. is up and good. Makes it a 9-3 score as he sets up to shoot the second of two free throws. Beautiful soft swish on that one. Gives him six points in the game now. And the Chiefs are up 10 to three. Little uh, referee discussion at the scorer's table. Just checking something. Of course, we don't know what they're not telling me what that is, but. St. Paul will be inbounding. It's from their baseline. And the Dell's putting that full court press on them. It uh, certainly worked the last time. Didn't turn into points directly, but Made it tough on St. Paul. St. Paul works it up. They get it over. Long pass cross court. And back around. Now down to the right side. Big three-point shot by number 32, Mitch Newberg. Puts St. Paul back in the scores column. Closing this game closer. 
Fidel's bring it down. Putt mixes. Shaq gets his own rebound and scores. Or Shane Wyman, excuse me. Addressed the play. He got down there fast, got a shot, missed the first one, but went after his own rebound, got it, and scored. So a quick answer back by the Dells. Now we got Patterson for the St. Paul driving in, kicks it out to the left side, and there's a three pointer. For number 32, Mitch Newburn. The Dell or the St. Thomas answers back to try to keep this score close. It's 12 9 now at this point with 11.54 to go, first half. Dell's trying to work something in. Shot from the outside is off. Rebounded by St. Thomas. And so I'll bring it back up court. Not a full court press this time in transition. Two guys on one. That's, they're putting some pressure on. But St. Thomas gets it across. Inside to Patterson. Drives, kicks out to the far wing. Shot is off. Rebounded by the Dells. Quickly brought up court. Kicked out. Oh, pick, steps inside the three-point chart. Shoots, misses. Rebounded by St. Thomas. He picked up his dribble, so he's got to hand it off. There we go. And St. Thomas bring the ball up. Some pressure still being applied by the Dells. They do get it inside. There's a shot from the left wing now by St. Thomas. Missed. Rebounded. We got a jump ball call here off of that one. So St. Thomas. St. Thomas will be inboundings from underneath Wisconsin Dells basket. And the score is 12-9 right now. There's 11.03 to go here, first half. And inbounding, maybe. Five-second call. They did not inbound the ball fast enough, so turnover. You don't see that too often. So the Dells gets to inbound and bring it up court. No pressure being applied by St. Paul, or St. Thomas, excuse me. Goodell's on offense again, trying to set something up. Alley oop, all oh, very nicely done. Bus to Shane Wyman with the alley oop. Now that was a pretty, you don't see that in high school that often. That was very well executed. It's 14 9 now. And St. Thomas trying to bring the ball up court. And the pressure applied very well by the Chiefs. Gets the 10 second call as the cadets don't get it up court enough. So turnover. And the Chiefs will be inbounding the ball just, in, just at half court. And go back on offense. Another little referee discussion with the scorer's table. Something with the possession arrow there. They're getting that straightened out. Now getting ready to inbounds the ball. And the Chiefs do. So Delmar, who's been doing a lot of the ball handling, starts it all off, but then they work it around. Now he takes a shot from the top of the three-point arc and swishes it. It's his first three-pointer of the game. Puts the Chiefs now on top 17 to 9. They're looking strong, looking good. Up, we got a foul call. Foul call against the uh, Chiefs. So the ball will, as Patterson was trying to bring it up. One of the Chiefs uh, bumped his arm a little bit. The refs called that. So St. Thomas inboundings from underneath of the Chiefs basket. They pass in very quickly there. Trying to get their offense set up here. Kicking it around. There's a pass inside. Oh, doesn't doesn't go for it. Had the opportunity, did not go for it though. Still kicking from the outside. There's a three-point attempt, up and missed, but rebounded by St. Thomas. They get the shot back. Another three-point attempt is missed. They get that rebound. Drive to the hoop. Another good drive and, and uh, good hustle, but that shot was missed. Now the Chiefs back on offense, putting the ball inside. Strong attempt, but partly blocked and stopped. Now St. Thomas bringing it back up court, trying to transition up quickly, but they've got to slow it down and uh, pass out. There's a pass inside, but it's is partly blocked by the Chiefs, but knocked out of bounds, so it'll be St. Thomas ball underneath on the Dells baseline. 9.21 to go here, first half. 17-9 is the score with the Dells over St. Thomas. 
The leading scorer, Wyman, for the Dells is now coming out for a little bit of a break. St. Thomas inbounds the ball. Pass across. Pass inside to, and nicely executed. Harrison Pat with his first score. Bucket inside. Gets St. Thomas up to 11 points. It's 17-11 is our score. With the Dells still on top. They're on offense now trying to set something up. Long shot from the right side. Is missed. Rebounded though by the Dells. Another three-point attempt now from the left wing. Off. Missed. Rebounded by Pat for uh, St. Thomas Cadets. There's a foul call. Foul is called against the Chiefs. <coughs> Not a lot of fouls so far in the game thus far, which is always nice. Like the clean, crisp play when that can happen. Both teams at least showing not ragged play. Of course, for the Chiefs, they had to come from Wisconsin Dells early this morning, about a three to four hour drive, which uh, they tell me would, went fine. So, St. Thomas trying to bring the ball up court quickly, lost control, we'll turn it back over to the Chiefs. They bring it back up now, trying to get their offense set. They're on the right side, drive over, pass across, some body contact, no call. Still working it around. Are the Chiefs trying to set something up? And there's the drive by Delmar. And the bucket. Driving on the left side of the key and up and with the hoop. 19 11 is our score. Wisconsin Dells over St. Thomas. St. Thomas brings it up court. Drive into the lane. Up. It's off. Loose ball comes out. Rebounded. Good. Shot attempt. By number 32, Newberg for St. Thomas. He gets fouled on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws now. 7.59 to go here first half. Foul again against the Chiefs. He said, I had a chance to talk briefly to uh, the Chiefs coach, Brad Rowling. He's actually a Minnesota native, coming from uh, Elk River. But uh, doing a good job coaching his team over there in Wisconsin. And uh, they had an uneventful, peaceful drive in so, and again, they're not looking too ragged. They got here in good time, so they can play. Both free throws made by uh, Newberg for St. Thomas. So it makes the score 19 to 13. The Chiefs are back on offense now. Working the ball around, trying to set something up. Some good, fast, crisp passing by them when they're doing this. They're patient. Getting things going, not trying to rush anything, which is always wise. Ball just being worked around. They kind of run through their cuts and their motions, trying to get their offense, someone getting open. Good ball handling. St. Thomas trying to play, apply the defense. Ball lost by the Chiefs along the baseline. St. Thomas takes it over and they're bringing it back up court. Passing now, they're down into the left corner. Shot attempted up, a three-pointer. It's off. Rebounded by Delmore for the Chiefs, who brings it back up court. Driving in the lane. Throws a shot up. He got fouled. Kind of a forced attempt, but he was able to draw the contact, get that foul call. So Delmore, that's MJ Delmore. He'll be going to the line. Shooting two. We've got 6.56 here to go. First half, the score is right now 19-13 before the free throws. First one is up and good. Chiefs are substituting in and as is the cadets. So one more free throw to come here for MJ. 2013 right now is the score, pending the outcome of this shot. And it's good. That gives Delmore nine points for the game. He and Wyman are fighting for uh, top scoring uh, honors here thus far. My unofficial official tally, they've both got nine points. So The Cadets now bringing the ball up court. Getting into Chiefs end. Pass far across court. Three-point attempt from the top of the arc. It was off. Rebounded, though and put back in by St. Thomas. That's Zimpich with his first bucket of the game. Gets them two, makes it 21 to 15 is the score. 
They bring that, their deficit down to six points. The Chiefs back on offense. Been working the ball, trying to set something up. And Thomas not giving them anything easy. And passes almost picked off. For the Chiefs it was tipped. They gained possession off the tip. Shot is out. Missed. A little scrum on the floor. St. Thomas picks it up and brings it up court. And number 33 drives, misses. Loose ball ridge rebounded by St. Thomas. Shot up, off, rebounded again, up, off, rebounded again. And a oh, great effort by Keegan Zimpich on that one. Reba I'm not keeping rebound totals, but he got three offensive rebounds off of that one, one play. First attempt was shot by Nick Griffin on the drive. And then Zimprich getting the rebound. Of course, he missed the shots, which is why he got the offensive rebounds, because the shots weren't dropping. So there was a mixed bag there, I guess, one way or the other. But good for the offensive rebounding totals. That never hurts. Coach going. He makes the first three throw. One more to come. A couple substitutions made between the teams. Now the second shot. Prepares to take. And that's good. A very well hit. A couple more points for Zimprich. And the score is a four point difference now 21 to 17. 5 45 44 and counting down here in the first half. Liddell staying in control and on top, but it's closer. Their offense shot is up, partially blocked. Oh, there's a little contact. He did get ball first. Number 15. Uh, ben Frears for the cadets. First got his hand on the ball, but then got his, his arm on Delmore's arm, unfortunately. Thus the foul call. It's a good call. So Delmore shooting free throws. His first one is up and good. Now getting ready for the second one. That one is up and also good. Getting his free throws. He is now the leading scorer in this game with 11 points. And St. Thomas bringing the ball back up court. Some press being applied. But they, they keep control of it. Almost lost, but St. Thomas keeps it. Working the ball around. They like taking the three-pointers from what we've seen so far. Getting some of their points off of those, but not all. Trying to work something into Patterson. Not able to uh, keep control of it, so... St. Thomas still has the ball. Working it around, working it around. Looking for someone to get open. Patterson has the ball. I can't keep it. Drive over now. We've got a shot up from the left, right side. Missed. Uh, number 21, Zimprich with the long attempt. Missed. And the Chiefs, nicely done. Quick, fast break up there. And Shane Wyman, he's going to get back in the race here for this top score. Ties himself up with it. Now at 11 points, so he ties his teammate Delmore for a high score in the game. And, of course, keeps the Chiefs on top. St. Thomas is on offense again. That's inside kicked out. St. Thomas working it, working it. Shot by Patterson. Hits the side of the board. Rebounded by the Chiefs. They zip it up court. And contact is drawn. It's number one, Mike Dickman trying to fast break and rush up. And bumps with St. Thomas. St. Thomas called for the block. So the Chiefs will be inbounding the ball underneath the St. Thomas basket. And they do. There's number one with the shot. Three-point attempt. Colin Buss for the Chiefs. He hits it. Puts the Chiefs are now up 28-17. A bigger lead. St. Thomas back on offense trying to bring things up. Get something going here. Kick out. Long shot attempt is missed, but rebounded. By St. Thomas. Tipped in. There's Patterson now with the, the shot. Three-pointer. Missed. Oh, and we got a foul. Yeah, St. Thomas over the back on that rebound attempt. There is 3.32 here to go in the first half. Again, Wisconsin Dells Chiefs are up 28 to 17 over the St. Thomas Cadets. We're here at South. 
here at South St. Paul. Or excuse me, Johnson Senior High in Saint, South St. Paul. This is the East Metro Showcase. Featuring a number of teams from Wisconsin, Minnesota, here all day. There's a timeout on the on the court here. Well, teams talk a little bit. Wisconsin Dells, again, they have a 15-0 record, so they're the strong team coming into this, this tournament today in this game. They own the number one ranking in Division Three. They play in the South Central Division over in Wisconsin, so they're having a really, really great season, and certainly they are showing some good some good uh, ball control, some good defense. Some They have some good offensive players. Uh, strong, strong team playing well. So it's a def definitely a tough test for St. Thomas. St. Thomas, though, got to give them some credit. They're holding their own. They're playing good D, not giving up anything easy whatsoever. You know, and they're not out of this by any means. So let's see what happens. So Wisconsin bringing the ball up court now after the timeout. They are on offense and trying to run their sets. As they kind of hold the ball, it's right, right now on the right, now on the top of the three-point arc, on the left side. Trying to move around, get something to get open. Ball tipped out of bounds by St. Thomas. That was number 41, Harrison Platt, with the good defense. We have 3.08 here to go in the first half. And 28-17 is the score here. The Chiefs inbound the ball up the top. Kicked around. Oh, very bad pass. That's an uncharacteristic play there. Turned over, thrown from the Chiefs player, number 22, Wyman, right to St. Thomas, and they bring it back up court. The drive now on the baseline. That was Mitch Newberg for St. Thomas with the baseline drive, trying to get the bucket. Gets fouled, though, so he'll be going to the line to shoot two. Does not make the basket. 2.48 to go in the first half. And Newberg setting up for free throws. First shot is up and off. Tough break there. Free throws are always such an important thing, especially when you're the trailing team, when you can have a chance for getting those free points, you want to hit those. He makes the second one. Gives him nine points for the game. So he's having a good game. He's the leading scorer for St. Thomas at this point. Chiefs back on offense here. 2.40 to go in this first half. Set things up. 28-18 is the score. And they're just working it around. You got some coach yelling there going. Ball knocked out of bounds. Well guarded by number 13, Nick Waldvogel for St. Thomas. Tips that ball out of bounds. The Chiefs inbound it, back on offense, bringing it up over midcourt. Oh. And that pass from Delmar to Dickman couldn't quite control it good enough. He had to step back and step on the center court line, so turnover. And St. Thomas now with the ball. Pressure being applied, though, by the Dells. There's Walt Vogel bringing it up, passing it across. And back to him. For St. Thomas trying to get something set up. Pass inside to Patterson. Kick back out. And pass over to Walt Vogel. Now it kicks over to the side. Long three-point attempt. And that was for Newberg with the shot. Makes the score 28-21. The Chiefs, again, to their credit, they've done this a few times so far today. They answer right back in transition, bringing the ball up court in the drive. But number three, Colin Bus hits the basket and gets, we have the and one, because fouled on the shot. So he's lining up to try to complete a three-point play. Shot is off, though, so he doesn't, doesn't get the and one. The score is now 30 to 21, the Chiefs on top. St. Paul trying to bring the ball up. Pressure being applied by the Dells. They do get it up and over. Ball kicked inside. From Patterson and over to Platt for the basket. Nicely done by St. Thomas. 
The Chiefs trying to bring it back up. St. Thomas got back fast enough to not give them an easy transition basket. And the Dells on offense trying to set things up. Kicking it back out, start on a hole here. Getting down close to that last minute of play in the half. The Chiefs try to drive in. Long three-point attempt is made, and it's hit right at the one-minute mark. Hit by Wyman. Puts him back in the scoring honors leads and puts the Chiefs up 33-23. I see Thomas trying to bring the ball up court. Pressure being applied. Bad errant pass picked off. Chiefs bringing it up. Drive and score it. Wyman nicely done on that one in transition with the drive and gets the foul. So he's got an and one opportunity. And my unofficial score, that puts him at 16 points before the free throw. He's now well in front of his buddy uh, MJ Delmore now for the scoring honors lead. And shooting one more attempt. But free throw is good. Gives him 17 points in the game. 36-23 is our score. 40.7 seconds to go here in the first half. St. Thomas inbounding the ball from their court. And the full court pressure being applied by Wisconsin Dells. They've been doing that all game long. And effectively. So St. Thomas gets it over. They're now back on offense trying to work and get their set going. Pass inside to Patterson. Kicks it back out to Waldvogel. Three-point attempt is off. Good look, though. Wisconsin gives it. Now they're coaching the side of what they're going to hear do here in these last few seconds. Ten seconds unless eight, seven. Trying to get that last shot attempt. A long shot is attempted. Missed. Waldvogel gets to try to bring it up court. St. Thomas not able to get a shot off. And there's the buzzer. So it's halftime with our score here. The St. The Wisconsin Dells Chiefs are leading 36 to 23 over the St. Paul or St. Thomas Academy Cadets. And we'll break for the halftime and we'll be back with second half action. Coming right up. All right, we're just about done with our halftime here. Just seconds to tick off the clock and then both teams will take the court again for this second half. And this is the East, East Metro Showcase happening at Johnson Senior High School. Johnson Senior High School is on 1349 Arcade Street in St. Paul, Minnesota. Great state of Minnesota, Viking State, Timberwolves State, Twins Wild. This is January the 19th of 2013. This is going on here. This is the first game of this tournament. And we're getting ready to start. St. Thomas is going to be inbounding the ball from half court. And they are on offense. It's 36-23 is the score that uh, Wisconsin Dells is on top by right now. St. Thomas trying to get something going here, see what kind of adjustments were made at halftime and uh, what they can try to do to get themselves a little back into this game. They work the ball inside. Very nicely done. And Harrison Platt with the score. Gives him two more points for the game. And they cut the deficit by two. And looks like there's an offensive offensive foul call on Dells. That was on Shea Wyman. Pushed a little bit hard into that defender who was set. Good call. Thomas, see Thomas brings it up. The Dells tip the ball out of bounds, so they'll be inbounding the ball here from the sideline. St. Thomas now shooting from the right to the left side. While the Dells will be shooting left to right. St. Thomas now with the ball. On offense, down left side of the arc, back up top. And sets him up, passes tipped out of bounds. Remains St. Thomas ball on the sideline. Early here in the second half, 17-11 remaining to play. 36-25 is the score. So 11 point deficit. And St. Thomas trying to work the ball around. Not looking, they pass into the middle and they were not ready, so picked off by Wisconsin. They're back on offense quickly. Three point shot attempt is up and off from Delman, rebounded by Zimprich and St. Thomas bring the ball up, but that's inter intercepted. Quickly transitioned and score for Buss, a two point 
off of that great defensive play. And they maintain their lead. 38-25, 13 point deficit here. Now there's a drive down the, oh, and missed. Rebounded by, and missed again. That was uh, Nick Griffin for St. Thomas. A good drive down the left key. Missed a shot, rebounded a shot, missed on the follow up. Wisconsin comes around, takes a shot, missed, and quickly being brought up court now by St. Thomas. Trying to drive underneath, but missed. Good drive. That's by number 15, Ben Fears. Just didn't hit the shot. So Wisconsin back on offense. Looking to set something up. Three point shot. Shane Wyman with the. With the three-point bucket, it's now 41-25. And for Wyman, I believe that puts him at 20 points for the game. So early in here in the second half. Big game, 41 points in total for the Dells. He's got almost half of them at 20. You've got Delmore, uh, who's got 11. And that's been the bulk of the scoring. The other points uh, from Colin Buss. So three scores for them. Chiefs for St. Thomas. Fears, Platt, Newburn, and Z Newburg and Zimprich have been their scorers. And Newburg uh, with 12 points is their leader. We got a timeout on the court here. In 41-25 now is the score here in the second half. And there's a buzzer signifying that that timeout is done, so the teams need to get back on the court, and they do. Again, big disparity in the records in this one, so not a shock that uh, the Chiefs are on top. Chiefs coming from Wisconsin Dells coming to this game at 15-0. and 0. So they're looking good. St. Thomas has a 3-9 and nine record, so it's been a tougher year for them. Lob pass inside, nicely pulled off, but nothing done with it. And that the next pass they made was intercepted, so the Chiefs back on offense. Three-point attempt is shot from the right side. And Mike Dickman, for the Chiefs, he gets on the board with the three-pointer. His first score of the game. One more person in the scores column for Wisconsin. Ball turned over by St. Thomas. Wyman. Zips a fast a pass down, trying to make a fast break opportunity, but threw it too hard, out of bounds. St. Thomas inbounding from underneath their bucket. There's 15, 19 to go here, second half. Wisconsin still putting on that full court press. It's Vogel trying to bring it up, pass it over. They get it now cross court and over. Patterson have it, Wal Vogel has it. Pass it over to Fears, back to Wal Vogel. St. Thomas showing some patience, trying to get something set up. Pass inside, kicked out to the far wing. Three-point shot is up and good. And that's Newberg with another three-pointer. That puts St. Thomas to 28 points versus the 44 for the Dells. Pass is picked off at St. Thomas, but then tipped out of bounds. So it will remain the Chiefs' ball on offense. For Newberg, that puts him at 15 points for the game. Far and away the leading scorer for St. Thomas. Chiefs bringing the ball back up court, over half court. Pass now inside to Wyman. Up and good. Another bucket for Wyman. 22 points for him now in the game. Quickly the ball is brought up by St. Thomas, nice answer back, and it's Newberg with the bucket underneath. Kind of a similar score to just what uh, Wyman for the Chiefs just had too, so it's kind of like same buck, baskets. A nice drive then along the baseline from left side in by Colin Buss for two points. A little more scoring happening now for these two teams. The Chiefs are staying on top, 48 to 30 is the score here. Ball will pass inside to Zimprich, who scores the easy bucket underneath for two. Chiefs back on offense. They're just kicking around, being a little patient here now, not trying too fast. 
Pass over to Wyman for the three-point attempt. Missed from the far right side. Rebounded. Rebounded by Newberg. And then there's a foul by the Chiefs, so it'll be St. Thomas's ball. They'll inbounds from underneath their own basket. 13.25 to go here, second half. 48-32 is the score. Wisconsin Dells Chiefs on top. St. Thomas brings it back over, getting themselves set offensively. The Chiefs are playing a zone defense. Both teams pretty much have been in zone all day long. Yeah, Wall Vogel now trying to set something up. Kirsten Patterson kicks it out for a three-point attempt by Newberg, but that's missed. Rebounded and brought up court by the Chiefs. Stelmar loses control of the ball. There's a scrum on the floor, and jump ball is being called. Possession arrow is in St. Thomas's favor. So the cadets will keep the ball. Or no, excuse me. The Chiefs will kick, keep the ball. It's in their favor. My bad. So they're inbounding the ball. And it's Delmar who's way out top, almost at half court. Trying to maneuver around to find an opening somewhere. Kind of a log jam of everybody right there. No, nowhere to go with it. Kind of works it around, works it around. Get some coaching from the side. Pass inside. Oh, very pretty. That was very pretty by MJ Delmar. Pass was kicked out. He broke. Kind of a give and go. Broke in on the through the key and gets the pass back, driving for that, that score. Then St. Paul came down, St. Thomas came down and threw the ball away underneath. So the Chiefs will get the ball again, bringing it up court from underneath their own basket. 50 to 32 is their lead right now. Wisconsin Dells over St. Thomas. We have 12-12 remaining here in the, in the game, second half. Stelmar working it around. A little bit of contact happened there by uh, number 15 Ben Fears, who's called for the foul, so the Chiefs will inbound from the sideline. 12.02 to go here, second half. The Chiefs inbounding the ball. Not in a big hurry, they've got, a, of course, an 18 point lead, so don't really have to rush anything. Pass underneath, oh, missed. Wyman with the easy basket attempt, but off the rim. And Thomas brings it back up. Tries to zip in a fast pass up ahead to Patterson, but had to kick it back out. And we got Waldvogel working around the top of the arc. Over to Fears. Kick down underneath. Shot up, and it's good. It's Zimprich. A good feed inside, and he scores. The underneath basket, so it's 50-34. they can get into Zimbridge like that. That sometimes helps. The Chiefs are on offense. Trying to get something happening. A lot of back and forth passing. Shot attempt finally up. Missed by Delmar. Oh, well, Vogel. Try to bring it up. It got stripped away. And Colin Boats with the easy attempt but missed and now there's a foul. And Colin Boats for the Chiefs had a good attempt to try to get a basket. Missed it. And I don't know if it's his frustration or whatever, but yeah, he fouled in St. Thomas as they came back. So St. Thomas will be inbounding the ball over on the far sideline. There's 10.52 to go here in the second half. 50-34 is the score. And Wisconsin Dells, they are applying half-court pressure or full-court pressure all the time. It's just the way they play the D. And we've got a foul underneath. Away from the ball. And that was called on the Chiefs, so St. Thomas will be inbounding underneath. Taking their time. Pass it just, that just beat the five second count. Pass by St. Thomas gets tipped away. I thought that went off of a Chiefs player, but they're saying that it's Chiefs ball. Oh, there's a timeout call. Uh, 
at St. Thomas' coach is questioning something. Can't hear exactly what they're saying, whatever. I think, from my perspective, it looked like that pass was tipped out of bounds off the Chiefs, so it would have been St. Thomas' ball, but that's not what the call was. So we've got timeout on the court. And the score right now, the Dells are up 50-34 to 34 here in the second half. And the Dells, again, they're coached by Brad Rowling, who he's out of Elk River, Minnesota, actually. Had a chance to chat with him briefly before the game, and uh, he definitely keeps the Viking spirit alive as best as he can over there in Wisconsin, which it's a good thing. So they've got a good team going. Again, they're the number no they have the number one ranking in Division Three. They play in the South Central Division in Wisconsin. And 15 and 0, obviously, a good program, and they're doing very well. So, as assistant coaches are Bob Buss and Dean Truck. He's got help him on there. So, and they're looking forward to uh, next week. They play Lodi, who's ranked number two. So, and they've played each other uh, in past seasons and tournaments, and kind of. One beats one, one beats the other. So they're looking forward to that uh, return matchup against Lodi. All right, back to live action here. The Chiefs bring the ball up on offense, trying to set something up inside. Pass into Wyman. The ball got kicked away. It'll remain Wisconsin Dell's ball. They'll be inbounding underneath the St. Thomas basket. And Wyman with the drive. And the bus bucket puts him up to 24 points. The Chiefs lead is at 52-34. Now Patterson for St. Thomas with the drive, but that shot is blocked. But the loose ball picked up by St. Thomas. Shot attempt is up by Fears, and it's off. There's a foul away from the ball on the Chiefs. So it'll be St. Thomas ball from underneath the Wisconsin Dells basket. 30, number 35 Patterson is going to be inbounding the ball for St. Thomas. Kicked out on top. Up to Newberg. Passes, Patterson gets it on the side. Passes over. Kind of the top of the arc. Fears has it right now, number 15. It's 11 back into Patterson. But Fears, three points top of Attempt is up, but missed. Rebound, and basket is made. Offensive rebound and bucket for Mitch Newberg. Two more points for him. 52-36 is the score. A nice offensive rebound. And that was Del MJ Delmore for the... the Okay, MJ Delmore for the Chiefs with that drive. Gets fouled on, on his drive attempt in. Threw the ball up, but the basket did not count. There's not that kind of continuation in high school. So, but the Chiefs ball, the inbounds, and they set up their offense. And ball being worked around. Patiently, they're on their offense, been working their sets. Oh, ball's tipped away though. Inbounds or thrown ahead by St. Thomas. They can't quite control it though. Unfortunately, it was a good opportunity for Nick Griffin, but could not catch up with that that pass. So it's, uh, they knock it out of bounds. So it'll be the Chiefs' ball. They'll be bringing it up from their side of the court. We've got 8:55 here to go in the second half. 52-36 is the score. And this is the East Metro Showcase. First of five games today. Okay, we've got the Chiefs back on offense. Going to St. Thomas home. Trying to work something around. Getting a lot of movement. Their offense has showed that they've been trying to make a little more movement happening to get some things to open up. Now here's a drive, and it's blocked, but no, there's a foul. Number one, Mike Dickman trying to work it in and get a layup, but he gets fouled as he goes in, so he'll be going to the line to shoot. 
8.31 to go here in this game. 52-36 is the score. Dickman to the line for shooting for free throws. First one is up and good. His second score of the game. He had a three-pointer earlier on. Nice long downtown shot, so trying to add to his score total. Second free throw is up and also good. Puts him at five points for the game. Puts his team at 54-36. Well in control of this as far as St. Thomas bringing the ball back up court now. Well, there's a good drive opportunity, nicely done, and well taken advantage of by Nick Griffin for the score for St. Thomas. So they didn't give up and fired back with a nice aggressive driving basket. The Chiefs now back on offense trying to set things up. Being well defended is Dickman. Almost traveled, didn't. Now it's Wyman driving to the lane, but then kicking it out. It kicks it way back out. They reset everything else out. Newberg. Delmore to Zip to Wyman. Another give and go. Those two guys play very well together, obviously. Scores 56-38. Long pass cross court. Three-point shot is up, but missed. Great look by Newberg for that attempt, but it rimmed short. And the Chiefs bring the ball back up court. If they get a bucket, they will have a 20-point lead. I mean, kicking back out to the left side, back up top. Dickman with the drive baseline, kicks it back out, kicks it to MJ. Oh, ball bounces off a couple guys and ends up Bouncing off to MJ as he's going out of bounds. So that's turnover first. Exactly seven minutes to go now here in the second half. St. Thomas is inbounding the ball. 56 to 38 is the score. Still that full court pressure being applied. A shot up. And that's Platt with the two points for St. Thomas. So they're at least holding a... Uh, Holding off from getting a 20-point deficit here. It's 56-40 in the game. Dells are back on offense, trying to work something set up. Just being very patient. They have no need to rush anything at this point in time. So Just work the offense, make things happen. Getting closely guarded there, but kicks it back out. St. Thomas is applying the defense. Uh, it's good to see the defensive pressure by them, even though they're down by 16. And boom, there's a turnover. St. Thomas gets it. Bring the ball up court. A pass goes errant. Loosely knocked away. We've got a... Looks like... Looks like we have a uh, foot kick violation. So That was John Henry Newberg though, with a nice steal on, for St. Thomas. To get them on offense, there's 5.59 here to go in the game. St. Thomas inbounding the ball from underneath the Chiefs' basket. Kicked out to the side to John Henry. Three-pointer attempt is up and good. That's his first basket of the game, and that's a three nice three-pointer. Makes the score 56-43. Well, so up, he was not guarded at all off there into the corner, and he hits that shot. Okay. We've got a timeout here on the floor, I believe, being taken by Wisconsin Dells. And with the Dells, they're big two guys that we've, I've been talking about a lot today. That uh, Shane Wyman, he's their leading scorer. I've got him right now at about 26 points in the game. He's going to be going, he's got a full ride football scholarship as a tight end. Looks like he's going to Northern Illinois. So he is definitely the biggest boy on the court in this, in this game as, in terms of size. Don't have dimensions and that kind of thing as for stats, but... He plays a big, aggressive, tough game, and uh, tight ends are often good athletes overall. And he's certainly showing that here uh, with his play today. A lot of energy. And as far as his, uh, his scoring buddy there, number 23, MJ Delmore, he's going to be going to Southwest Minnesota with, with a scholarship for basketball. Both those guys are seniors and obviously have been playing very well together and uh, helping lead the Chiefs to their 15-0 record. 
Okay, ball's inbounded by the Chiefs off to the side. They are going back on offense here. Setting something up. The pass over to Dickman, who then kicks it back over to the side to the bus. Tries to drive, but lost control of it. Fast break attempt up. And good. Nicely made. Nick Griffin with another bucket on the fast break. He's had the last two scores for St. Thomas. Good fast break attempts. So the score is 56 to 45 now, 11 point difference. On oh, MJ Delmore with the drive, a very aggressive, and was able to draw the, the foul contact with the blocking call. On number 11, Jake Wright for St. For for Thomas. So MJ Delmore will be going to the line to shoot. A definitely aggressive, aggressive drive. A lot of energy and uh, oomph into that one. Wasn't sure if he'd get the call or not, but they called the block, so he's at the line shooting. 5.08 to go here, second half. His first shot is good. Puts him now at 14 points with his one more free throw coming here. And he hits that one as well. So he has 15 points now for the game. MJ Delmar. wonder if he was a big Jordan fan wearing 23 for that reason. I don't know. But with the, nick, the initials MJ, you kind of want to. Okay, St. Thomas back on offense. Trying to set something up. Working the ball around, working it, just being patient. They need a lot of scores to get back in this game. There's a three-point attempt. Shot and made. Uh, Griffin is getting hot here now. Eight points he scored as a total and all in this second half. Nice three-point attempt. Makes the deficit ten points at 58-48 now as a score. And the Chiefs pass is picked off on offense. On offense with St. Thomas and as they bring the ball up court there's some, a body bump and the blocking foul called against the Chiefs so St. Thomas will keep the ball. A little yelling there because the, he was kind of losing the control of the ball really before it happened, but from the ref's angle, I can see why that call was made. So, so St. Thomas inbounding the ball on offense. Working around, tries to pass inside, then back out. They were trying to make something happen, lose it, but they keep control of it as it goes to another St. Thomas player. Three-point attempt by St. Thomas is made. It's number 21, Zimbrich. Gets into him into double digits for the game with 11 points, and the score is now 58-51. A little more interesting here with 3.50 to go in the game. Dell's on offense now again. Taking the time, which is again wise, so they've got the lead, so no need to make a stupid mistake. Working trying to set something up. Just kind of keeping the ball up on top. Trying to bring St. Thomas' defense out to open something up inside. And we've got some body bumping loose ball. And the call is against the Chiefs. So the Chiefs are called for the foul. A little rough discussion with the coach along the side. So it'll be St. Thomas's ball. Oh, the check-in is this, are we at one and one here? Yep, they are in the one-on-one -on -one now, so in the bonus. So St. Thomas getting free throw attempts. Okay, this is 3.21 to go in the game. The score is 58-51. Wisconsin Dells over St. Thomas. But we have free throws being attempted by Mitch Newberg now. Of course, if he can make those, both, it'll make it closer. Hits the first one. Shooting one more, looking for his 20th point of the game. It's off. 
Shot wasn't made. There's a lane violation anyway, so because he left too soon going out there, so he doesn't get his 20th point, but it's a six-point deficit now as the game has gotten closer. So at one time, Wisconsin Dells were up at 18. Now that is just six. 3.20 to go here in the second half. Long pass attempt. Very, very nicely done. Deep pass. Went to Wyman, kicked it into to Delmore, who made the bucket and put them up by two more very, very quickly. Tim Thomas back on offense now, trying to set something up. Working it around the arc. Comes on back on. It's Fears with the three point attempt, and he hits it. Makes it 60 to 55. Adele's try to zip it up quickly. And St. Thomas' coach will tell him to get down there, watch for that, for that deep ball. And they got back just in time. So the Dells are on offense. Trying to set things up. St. Thomas. Ooh, interesting call. St. Thomas definitely is back encouraging in this one. That was number 10. John Henry Newberg called for the foul. Blocking foul. And he was moving, so I I can't disagree with the call. But there was, it looked like the Chiefs player kind of put an elbow into him, so they could have called that really either way. But it, the call was foul on St. Thomas. It's the Chiefs ball. They bring it back inbounds. They are on offense. We have 2-19, 2-18 to go in the game. Five-point lead for the Chiefs. There's a mild body bump, but no call. And the Chiefs just kind of keep working the offense. And that time they get the call. Number 33, Nick Griffin, playing very, very tight defense. Um, he had kind of a couple of body bumps in that last little series, and you hear some of the fans for Wisconsin Dells finally cheering on the officials for calling him for that body block. So Chiefs still with the ball on offense. It's two minutes to go here in the game. They're leading by five, 60 to 55. Tight defense for St. Thomas, trying to work those calls. And there's a whistle. Timeout being taken by the Chiefs. 1.52 to go here in this game. Wisconsin Dells Chiefs are up 60 to 55. And this game has turned out closer than anticipated, just the way it was going for quite some time. The Chiefs were really in control of this game, showing their superiority. Then just a little bit of, a little sloppy play, a couple of turnovers, and St. Thomas just getting some shots. Um, and in general, making their free throws when they've had those opportunities. Capitalize on a few big plays, and it's a tight score. Five-point difference. So this is kind of going down to the wire here. Definitely some more coaching going on here. St. Thomas trying to work some things and talking to their guys to get something happening. Drawing up some plays. Dan Rudishko is the St. Thomas coach. I'm not sure if I've mentioned his full name here and there, but He's working and trying to get things happening, trying to get his team on board with what they want to do now. This would be definitely an upset win if they pulled that off. Let's see what happens here, though. They've definitely showed good energy, good fight. They have not given up, have those cadets. So they can be uh, pleased with that effort in, in any event. So Wisconsin Dells inbounding it from half court. St. Thomas trying to put man on everybody. They do. There's a quick foul call there as uh, Fear is trying to defend against MJ Delmore. Not able to do it. MJ gets the foul call. And they're in the bonus, so he's shooting. It's a minute 50 to go here in the game. MJ Delmore for the Wisconsin Dells Chiefs will be going to the line to shoot. He's got 17 points so far in the game. Looking to up his total. And there's number 18 for one more. His buddy Wyman, though, has 26. So it doesn't look like he's going to catch him unless he gets a go on a scoring spree here. Second shot is up. And also good. It's 19 points in the game, and their lead is now 62-55. Thomas bringing it up. They need to get some scores happening quickly now. 
Working the ball, Spears with the drive up the basket and hits it. Ben Fears with an aggressive drive. Hits for two more points. Keeps this close. It's 62 to 57. Still a five point deficit. A minute 37 here to go in this game here at this East Metro Showcase. So this game has turned into a, an interesting, more interesting game than was anticipated. And what it looked like, again, for a long time. Wisconsin Dust has been in the lead pretty much the whole game. And again, at one point they had an 18-point lead. Could have gotten up to 20 had they uh, converted in a situation. Did not. To St. Thomas's credit, they have never given up. They have played tight defense. They've played a little more aggressively on offense. They capitalize on some good plays and scores and turn this game around to make it the close game that it is that we're looking at now. So we'll see what happens here. Minute 37 to go. And the Chiefs are inbounding from their own end. Being pressure being applied by St. Thomas. But they, the Chiefs are able to bring it over. Very tight defense being played. Oh, MJ almost lost it. He kicked it over to Bus. Now we get a call. Yeah, foul against St. Thomas. So again, they're in the bonus now. Both teams are, so. To the free throw line, Mike Dickman will be going. He's got five points in the game thus far. Lining up his first free throw. That shot is off. Rebounded immediately by St. Thomas and bringing it up court. A minute 10 to go here in the game. Five point deficit still. Passion ball cross court. Oh, thrown away. An opportunity lost by St. Thomas. Pass thrown away, so it'll be the Chiefs ball from their, their side of the court. And Dan Rub Rubisco doing a little coaching who he wants doing what on defense. It's MJ Delmer getting the pass and he's bringing it over. It's over half court. They're defending him tough, but there's a foul against St. Thomas. They're playing pretty aggressive D, which they need to do at this point in, point in time. But the foul gets called with a little bit too much body contact, so MJ Delmer going back to the line. He'll be shooting free throws. Makes this first one. He will have 20 points in the game. Shane Wyman's the leading scorer, though, with 26 points. Free throw is missed. So he doesn't get that 20th point. And St. Thomas has a chance to bring this down and again cut into this lead. It's Fears with the ball. Being well defended. Well, pass gets up. Tipped. It's an over and back because of how that all played out. Tough break for St. Thomas there. Good opportunity for them to try to cut into the deficits, but they weren't able to do it. There's 41.3 seconds to go here, and the Dells are inbounding the ball. They, good defense by St. Thomas forces the Dells to take a timeout, not have that five-second vi count violation happen instead. So smart timeout taken by the Dells. Again, 41.3 seconds to go here in the second half. The score again still 62-57. We've been at that one for a little bit now. Both teams have uh, missed some opportunities, most recently with MJ Delmer not scoring on that free throw attempt. And he has 19 points for the game. The leading scorer in the game for both teams, Shane Wyman from the Chiefs, he's at 26 points. He hasn't scored any for a little while, though. He's gotten a little quieter. On St. Thomas Academy side, their leading scorer is Mitch Newberg, 19 points. And uh, he's been up there by far. Keegan Zimprich has 11. He's been their, kind of their biggest spurt in the second half. He's been quiet for the last few minutes, but he has all 11 of his points have come in the second half. And some good shooting, a couple fast break opportunities as well. So, so we're going to be coming out of this timeout and let's see what happens here on the court. So again, the Chiefs will be inbounding on their offensive zone. 
And it's inbound to Dickman. He's bringing it over. They're trying to just waste time. They're trying to get those force fouls. Obviously, if they can. It's calling Bush with the ball. Back out to Dickman. Over to Jailhouse. Back over to Collins. They just and finally forced a foul. Number 11, Jake Wright for St. Thomas. That'll make him go to the line. There's 23, 24.3 seconds to go in the game. And the, both teams are in the bonus, so we will have shots. Colin Buss going to the line for the Chiefs. That shot is messed, but he gets he gets both because of the amount of fouls. The, it's the double bonus, I should say, here at this point. So he, they shoot both. Second attempt going up. He makes that one. St. Thomas brings the ball up quickly. Drive is up and good. So Jake Wright with his first score of the game. Bringing the ball all the way up court with the drive. Goes in for the quick score. And the, the deficit is now four points. It's 63-59. 17. Just over 17 seconds to go here in the game. So that was a good drive by St. Thomas. Getting that back very quickly like that. And just going for it. Obviously there's the, the, the chance if you draw contact. He did not. Which that would have been real big had he done that, so. Jake Wright's had to commit a number of fouls. I'm not sure what his total is for the game. But he's committed a few of the fouls, so he had to feel good at least about coming back and getting that basket. Keeping his team in this game. Both coaches busily drawing and up whatever they want their teams to be doing here, defensively, offensively, what to watch for. So many things to try to get across from a coaching perspective to his young players' minds and heads. and Good experience all being gained by, by all of them. So, All right, players getting back here out in the court. 17.3 seconds is the time remaining here in the game. The Dells, the Chiefs will be inbounding the ball. Long pass. They tried a long bomb pass to MJ Delmore. There's a foul on the play. As MJ trying to get free for that pass. It's basically a football call. It was pass interference on the defense. This is pretty much the way to do that. So that's what I would have uh, interpreted it as, <laughs> just by the looks of it. So MJ Delmore will be going to the free throw line, shooting. Got some substitution happening. And Chiefs coach Brad Rowland giving his players a little bit of a, this is what I want you to be doing what, and whatnot. It looks like they're not putting any of their players underneath to try to rebound, which is one way just to protect from any kind of fouling as well as to have your guys back on defense. In this situation, that is exactly why you would do that. So the first shot is up. He hits it. So now he has his 20 points for the game, and that's a big shot because that makes it 64-59. Second one is up, and he hits that too. I think that auto ice it is a six point game now. We got St. Thomas bringing it up. Long three point attempt. Shot is up, but missed. Fidel's kicks the ball up. Oh. Does try to kick the ball up for a quick offensive score. It was intercepted, but ended up by uh, Patterson for, had, for the. St. Thomas trying to keep the ball inbounds, but threw it to Wyman, who then went in for the layup attempt, got fouled, didn't make the shot, but he'll be going to the line. That's a shooting foul. So he's going to uh, try to increase his point total for the game as lead scorer. First shot is hit. And there's 2.8 seconds left in the game, so yeah, this game has now been definitely iced. The seven-point lead here. Misses the next shot. Could have been on purpose. Fears takes the last second shot. The game that's missed. And our game is over. So good game had by both teams. Closer than was anticipated. Based on how it played off. 
66-59 is the final score of the Wisconsin Dells Chiefs over the St. Paul or St. Thomas Academy Cadets. 66-59 is the final score here. Good score show of sportsmanship by both teams shaking hands after the game. That's always a good thing to see. So like seeing that definitely. So that's the first game of this East Metro Showcase. It is in the books now here at Johnson Senior High School in St. Paul. And there'll be more great basketball action coming up here. So stay tuned for that. I'm Scott Scott, checking out for this first game. 